Um, so in 2007, I started working on a song um, called Forgiven and Loved, uh, which was really um, a journal entry that I put some chords to. Uh, that was um, a season for me that was the conclusion of a, of a real hard season. A, a, I don't even know if you can call it a season. It was a decade of life um, that uh, was me wrestling with pornography addiction. And so I remember journaling uh, and just feeling, which was common for me at the time, a sense of just really deep shame and hopelessness because uh, I felt like I just hadn't made progress, and I'd known the Lord for a number of years by that point. So this song uh, came out of it um, that was a reminder to me, ultimately, me preaching to myself, if you will, that uh, for those of us who find ourselves in Christ Jesus, there's therefore now no condemnation. Um, and so that's the celebration of the song. Uh, and uh, yeah, that, that was the conclusion of um, an over decade long addiction. And, and you know, it, for many years as a Christian, um, I feel like I was seeing very little victory, as I bet a lot of folks who, who deal with this experience. And I could never sort of place why it was, because I I felt like I'd read the books and I'd memorized the verses and I'd given my internet password to 100 guys and there's no way that I could possibly, you know, surf the web tonight, but still there's this pervasive, you know, thing in me to do it and, and then and then so much shame when it happened and uh you know it it took a number of years for me to to realize and even now I'm still I'm just now starting to put language to the whole thing that I was realizing but it it's this that um for those of us in any form of addiction um and uh, specifically for folks with uh, addictions regarding lust and pornography we, we as the church have done you a disservice by emphasizing methods um, over enjoying Christ as the ultimate solution. There's a verse in uh, 2 Timothy 2.22, right? And it's a very familiar verse to any addict or anything like that. Uh, flee youthful lusts, right? but pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace, along with others who call on the Lord out of a pure heart. And I had the first part down. There was a lot of fleeing happening with me, but I neglected the, the, the main part of the verse, which is don't just flee from, but flee to. And I think that's what is missing in so much of our battle, is that we're really good at acknowledging this is wrong, but we're really bad at acknowledging, but he's better. And... And as I started to realize that he was better, and as I started to enjoy the company of Christ in my times of prayer and in the Word and in the community of believers, my appetites began to change. They began to lessen for the things I used to love, and they began to grow for the things of Christ. And, and uh, so I can say with just so much gratitude for God that um, it's been now over about eight years since I've been, you know, committed to a pornography addiction, and and um, and I and I don't chalk it up to methods or a new twelve-step program. I, I I can only point to Jesus um, proving Himself satisfying to me over that time.